What's going on guys? Retext message here. Hope I'm wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. Today we have a beginner's guide for Marvel Realm of Champions. The game's been out a week now. I've uploaded, you know, two, maybe three times a day, every day since then. And I figured maybe it's about time to do a beginner's guide because, you know, I've played a good amount. I kind of got the ins and outs of this game and what it's about and how everything should work and this might be helpful for anybody who hasn't gone in yet and they want to start playing or maybe you know when the game officially does release these tips and tricks will help out during that time as well if this is helpful guys drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new let's get into it first off guys we'll be looking at our battle rating this is kind of like a whole system where this is based off of your champions based off of this battle rating the better the battle rating the more you move up into the tiers that type of thing so everybody starts out as a newcomer when you are doing the co-op mode which I will be going over you don't get any battle rating plus or minus you don't lose or gain any if you do the versus you actually gain battle point when you're in a newcomer tier even if you lose if you lose you're supposed to lose 10 if you're in a newcomer tier you still gain your 10 battle points so if you're just starting out i would go into the arena and just keep playing that because you want to get to 430 battle points to rank up to recruit because when you rank up you get better rewards here as you can see right here we got newcomer crystal and recruit crystal it has better gear items for your champions Number two now, we're looking at the arena here. So this is a 3v3 arena where you're facing actual other people. Sometimes you get bot, but you know, sometimes you will get full teams of three. Now, here's the thing. The matchmaking is kind of iffy now because there's not that many people playing it. So what you would want to do is either play by yourself when you're a lower overall power or play in teams of three with people around the same power as you. What I've noticed is that I have a 500 base power uh, Black Panther that I'm running right now. If somebody in my party joins with 1,000, we will get matched up with people with 1,000 power. It doesn't happen all the time, but I did notice the other day that it was happening more frequently. So you either want to go by yourself with whatever power that you have or go into a team with people with similar power as you. So right now, I'm running 588. Overall, I would stick with people around 600 to 400. You might be able to make up to 700, but you want to be in the same area, guys, because you don't want to get matched with people with double your power. It's happened to me where we've had, uh, you know, one kid with a thousand and two of us around 500 and a full team of 3,000. You don't want, well, you know, yeah, full team of thousands each. You don't want that to happen. Trust me, guys. All right, guys, for this next one here. We will be looking at the co-op mode. Now, early on, when you're, you see my threat level, that's eight. I actually explained that in a different video. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check that out, you're more than welcome to. There's a playlist in my description. Basically, when you start out, your threat level is a one. When it goes up, when you win, the threat level increases. Mine's level eight right now. It gets harder, all right? It gets harder. There's more enemies. They're more powerful. So, if you're doing the co-op you would definitely want to have a team with you but if you do it solo you will get bots who will have like more power than you but they're not the smartest so for the co-op i would run into a team you know pe power does not matter all right so you have people with like you know 1500 power if you want and you have 200 power and you will be fine it doesn't change at least not that i know of whatever your threat level is maybe it uh you know averages out the threat levels i don't know so like let's say yours is a one theirs is a 10 i don't know if it'll average out to five and be a little bit tougher for you but it will be easier for them next tip here guys we will be looking at the gear now i'll just be going over the one set that you guys should know about but there are different stars and rarities won't be going over those because this is just a beginner's guide so right here is a common necklace for black panther now none of you guys have black panther if you're watching a beginner's guide because you need to be warrior tiered for one of your champions and if you're watching a beginner's guide and you're already warrior tier then i have no clue what you're doing but basically everybody who's starting out will eventually get some gear and it will be a one star common gear now this one is a decent example because there's two traits right here health and health now i could go ahead and equip that but you see the red arrows that would bring down my overall rating and my health but if we go over and look at the whole this one star right here only has health which is 
bad because it has the red arrows for health and overall rating because I currently have this one on here with health and armor now even though they're both one stars this one has two traits and its overall rating of 125 is much better than 65 guys that's just you know common sense you go ahead and compare those right there and you just see the difference right so what you want to do is you want to match your gear with the role that your champion plays guys my hulk here is a tank right hulk is a tank and like any marvel game hulk is usually a tank because that's just the way he is he's big bulky he's supposed to have good crowd control take hits that type of thing so running something like this one here health and attack power isn't the most ideal because your main focus is not attack power it's health and armor and you know stability that type of thing the one I have right here, health and armor, this is probably the best one that I could put on for him right now. Not just because of the rating, but because of the traits that comes with the pants. You know what I'm saying? If we were to look at this one here, this one's an uncommon one. This one I cannot use yet because I'm not level 7. This uncommon 2 star has 3 traits, 2 of them being health and 1 being armor. As soon as I'm level 7, this is the one I'm putting on because that makes the most sense guys not going off of rating of 129 is better than 125 it is but besides the point of that three traits on what exactly i need is huge all right guys last tip here are the quests now you go ahead on the bottom right with the target and you will see a whole bunch of daily quests and whatnot i don't have any here i did all of them so we will go ahead and go on to the milestones right here basically you just want to do all of these quests as you can all the tiny ones uh, work on your battle rating work on the milestones here because you'll be getting specific items and crystals and whatnot That will be beneficial to your champion each champion has uh, different milestones here And you'll get different uh, gear sets and whatnot for completing the uh, quest specific to that champion So just work on those guys. Nothing's unlocked in journey yet, but work on all of your quest guys I'm telling you, you'll get gold and other great stuff that you will need to be the best Marvel Realms of Champion player. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, probably a couple things I missed, but those are just ones off the top of my head that I wanted to just bring out to you guys. Might do a part two if more stuff comes up. But yeah guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'm out guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.